What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I'm super excited because I have the Android 12 beta finally running on my Pixel 5a. Uh, it's been a while when the Pixel 5a first released, the uh, Android 12 beta was not available for this device. And it's really ironic that it came out today because I just made a video yesterday talking about my first impressions of the Pixel 5a hardware. Uh, and in that video, one of the things I was complaining about was that it doesn't have the Android 12 beta available yet. I've been running that on my Pixel 5, and so now that I have the 5a, I was hoping to be able to use it. Well, today, Google released beta number 5 for Android 12, um, and which is the first one that includes the 5a. It's also got some improvements and some new things, which I'll show you. Um, keep in mind that this is the final beta that's going to release before the stable version, so stable will be coming very soon. There's still a few interesting new things, though and a few bugs that I found on the 5A. They might be specific to the 5A, I'm not sure. Uh, they could be on other devices as well. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. I was so excited to get it on this phone. But let's talk about the new stuff first. So the first thing that's new is if you go into the clock app, it's now been themed with the Material U makeover. You probably know if you've been following Android 12 news that Google's new design language is all about matching themes and colors. Um, for your wallpaper with the whole entire setup, you can kind of see how my wallpaper, it's themed. It's got a little bit of that light blue uh, mist, the hue there. Um, you can see it on the lock screen clock as well with these icons at the bottom, which are also something that's new as well, which I'll talk about uh, in a second, and a theme throughout here. So inside the clock, uh, you can see it's got that light blue color across the bottom here, uh, the accents across all the various sort of menus and options like that. Um, and of course you got bedtime, all your traditional stuff, really no new features of the clock, it's just got the theming there. It's also a little more uh, one-handed friendly as all the interactive elements have been moved further down the page, uh, which is of course a nice thing. Perhaps the most interesting thing though about the clock is these new widgets, which Google previewed earlier this year, this widget right here. Um, you can find it of course by just long pressing on the home screen, go down to widgets and clock, and uh, you'll find them right here. So there's a collection of new widgets You've got like these oval shaped ones that are either a vertical or horizontal oval. And of course, if you move them, you know, to your home screen here, I'm, I've already got one there, but let me move it over here maybe. I've got a couple of widgets I wanna show you guys. Uh, it'll go through and theme it. You can see it themes it here with a light brown uh, color that matches some of the leaves on the trees back there. And then I added this one. So you can, you know, you can play around with them, get different color combinations and things like that. So these widgets are probably the newest thing that's the most interesting about the clock. Um, these are actually some pretty nice clock widgets. Uh, one thing that I will say is that I kind of would like it if I could get rid of the time up here. Um, so actually, if you go in here to customize, you know, you should be able to customize these things, what's on and at a glance. You'll notice one of the bugs I found here in the Pixel 5a running Android 12 beta 5, the features are all uh, invisible. You can't see what features you're enabling or disabling. Uh, so I guess you can just, you know, these are like directions and things like that. You kind of know what's in at a glance, but that's obviously something that shouldn't be uh, doing that, but it, it's there. Uh, the other thing that I mentioned, if you go to your lock screen, is you have device control and uh, Google Pay or GPay shortcut here at the bottom on your lock screen. Uh, these were a nice addition in Android 11, but because of the redesigned tiles in the power menu, there's no re you know room for these kind of quick settings up there. Uh, when you go into your actual drop down menu up here, you've got kind of the GPay and some other things, but you want your quick launch on the uh, the lock screen and now they've added those. So this is home controls here and uh, this is GPay. So now they've added those back so you can quickly access those, uh, which is really nice because especially with GPay, I use GPay absolutely all the time when I'm out and about and being able to get that done a lot quicker is nice. Uh, another really important improvement that's been made here in beta five is the Google search bar on the home has become a lot faster to launch and to find things, uh, search whatever you want. It includes not only your uh, Regent searches, but also includes your um, device uh, information like apps, contacts, things like that. It's incredibly fast now. You know, you can search for any app you want on here, finds the apps down there, backdrops. Um, they talk about this and it is substantially faster comparing it to a device running Android 11. I did that just before I started this video, um, the speed is actually quite quite impressive. I might have to do a comparison. Maybe I'll make a YouTube short kind of showing a comparison versus an Android 11. And the last one is an interesting Easter egg. You know, Android usually has Easter eggs. If you go into the settings, 
you know, and you go into about phone. So you go ahead and scroll down to where you see Android version. You tap on that Android version in the menu and it brings up this clock, which is a widget. If you go ahead and move the clock to midnight, it launches this Android 12 screen that's got all the different colors. When you do that, it actually enables a new widget, which you can go and long press on the home screen and find widgets. And uh, you will see right here at the top, Android uh, Easter egg. It actually says Android S Easter egg, which is the letter it's supposed to have, of course. And it's a paint chips Easter egg. I already added this so you can see what it looks like. Uh, I put it on this home screen over here. This is the paint chips Easter egg. It shows you all the different colors that it's pulling from your wallpaper. So these are all the different colors with the color codes. It's kind of fun. You can kind of tap on these too. Uh, and you can see even more information uh, about them as you go through and kind of look at these various different colors. It's pretty interesting to see kind of which uh, colors it's pulling and which colors it can pull uh, from your wallpaper. So this kind of shows you how they're theming things in Android 12 and how the uh, framework entry works. It shows you the whole palette that they have in Android 12. So overall, there's a couple of hiccups so far. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be like this. I haven't used Android 12 in a while because I've been using the Fold 3. This notification shade with no notifications taking up all the screen, I don't think that's supposed to be that way. Um, if it is, then that's terrible design. But uh, it doesn't. I don't think it's supposed to look that way. Someone let me know if you've used Android 12, the most recent beta before this, but I think that's a bug as well. Performance seems okay. I just installed it, but there's a couple little lingering bugs here or there that they definitely need to get ironed out. Uh, before this thing is ready to go. Anyway, that's my impressions of uh, Android 12 Beta 5 on the Pixel 5a, along with the new features I've found so far. If you guys have any new ones, drop them in the comments. Follow me on Twitter if you want. Subscribe for more Android content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching this one.